Hello dear students, welcome back. Today we will discuss another topic that is dipole moment. Uh, what is dipole moment? What is the idea behind this dipole moment? Why we are using this word dipole moment in chemistry where we can use it and why we are using it. So I will give you first the general idea of dipole moment and then I will give you the formula and the definition and then so on with one example as well. Dipole moment, the idea of dipole moment arise from a molecule. Molecules are of two types. There are different types of molecules but today I would like to say there are two types. One is homonuclear molecules. Homonuclear molecules means such molecule where the two bonded atoms are same like hydrogen H H. This is homonuclear molecule. In such kind of molecules, the concept of dipole moment is nil, means there is no concept of dipole moment. So this is, you, you should make it clear first. Second, the concept of dipole moment arises in another kind of molecule, we call it heteroatomic molecule, in those molecules in which the bonded atoms are not same, they are different. For example, hydrogen fluoride is a heteroatomic molecule because the two atoms are different. Okay, now you know very well about electronegativity. In periodic table, every atom, every element has its electronegativity. So in case of two different atoms, the electronegativity difference must be there. Means one atom will be more electronegative, other will be less electronegative. So when you take these two values and subtract from one another, you will get some answer. 1, 2, 0 0.3, anyhow, you will get some answer. As far as a molecule has some electronegativity difference, what will happen because of this? The electrons which are in between the two bonded atoms, you know, if there is a bond, definitely there are electrons. So the electrons will move to do, towards that atom which has high electronegativity. In this case, fluorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So the electrons won't stay in the middle, rather they will shift towards the fluorine. Item. As a result, what will happen? I, I have just mentioned this in my Urdu lecture because this lecture was already recorded in Urdu as well. Most of students, they are complaining that, uh, that if we are feeling some difficulty with English, so don't worry. It's only for those who can understand English. So it is already recorded in Urdu as well. The whole lecture is already recorded in Urdu. That's why it, you can see a lot of stuff over the whiteboard. So what will happen when one atom gets electron closer to it, so it will become happy. So it will show some expression. And the other atom from which the electron have been uh, uh, moved slightly away, that atom will, be, will not be happy. So the face expression will be there. So what will the face expression? Fluorine will become minus charge, partial minus charge, and the hydrogen will become partially positively charged. So this could be happy could happen with any other molecule, with any other molecule, right? As a result, what happened? Charges have been created. Charges have been separated, means at one side you got positive charge, on the other side you got negative charge. What we say here, we say this is called dipole. The, the, the separation of charges is called dipole. And we say that the molecule has dipole moment we say that a molecule has what? Dipole moment. So this is the idea. Idea is now clear. Dipole moment, the concept of dipole moment arise in those molecules which have different atoms and electronegative difference. So now come to the definition. Dipole moment is the product of two things. Whenever you multiply charge, you know there are charges. Whenever you multiply charge, multiply with the distance, you know there is some distance between the plus and minus charge. When you multiply distance and charge, this is your discharge and the distance. You multiply these two together, you will get dipole moment. So any, when, any time in your textbook, when you get a numerical where you are asking about that there are two 
there are two there are they, they, there is one molecule and between this atom and that atom the distance is that and these are the charges so you 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 should not be worried about it you you should just multiply the two values i mean you should just multiply the charge with the distance and you will get the answer like 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 this suppose oh sorry before we go further i would like to tell you the unit of uh, dipole moment is meter coulomb meter coulomb or dubai dubai is usually the unit we write in our textbooks uh, and you should also be remembered that one dubai is equal to 3.36 into 10 to the power minus 30 meter coulomb okay this will help you sometime if you want to convert from dubai to meter coulomb or from meter coulomb to dubai you, you can do that you can just do this in case you want to convert meter coulomb into dy you want to convert meter coulomb into dy so what will you do you will divide this value with the meter coulomb and if you want to convert dy into meter coulomb then you just multiply it this number will be multiplied with what 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 whatever answer you got you just multiply it with this one so this is very spe special number special number why because with this number you can convert the meter coulomb into dy and back into meter coulomb just either you have to divide or multiply suppose in between the two charges the cha uh, the distance is 100 picometer picometer is a very 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 small unit of distance picometer and remember that if you want to convert 100 picometer into meter you just uh, you just multiply it with the 10 raised to the power minus 12 so for example 100 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 meter so now it is not in picometer it is now in meter this is very necessary whatever whatever uh, value you get in picometer you should convert it into meter because you won't be able to get the right answer right so it is in picometer i have just converted into meter that is 10 100 into 10 to minus 12 meter okay so when you multiply these two charge and distance you multiply this so you will get 6.02 into 10 to minus 29 meter coulomb you can just multiply it and you get the same answer so minus 29 meter coulomb you got your dipole moment but someone, some student said that I don't like this meter coulomb. It's okay. If you don't like meter coulomb, you just divide it with, uh, with the number I already told you. 3.36 and 10 is 30 meter coulomb. This is the number. You just going to, you should just divide it. Uh, so 6.02 in internals minus 29 meter coulomb is being divided with 3.36 in internals minus 29 minus 30, right? So when you divide it, you will get 4.8 dB. Now, now, now the answer is in dy, but not in meter coulomb. So this is very, very interesting. I have, uh, I have not explained the mathematical style. Means if you just divide these two, whatever the, the the exponent below the line when it goes up above the line, what will happen? You just separate and is all these things. You already know very well about this. So I'm not going to sh show you this one. Definitely is not a math class. So. Uh, I hope you know very well about this conversion. Okay, so 4.8 dy. Okay, second thing is the dipole moment is a vector quantity. And what's vector quantity? Uh, we have two type of uh, types of quantities. One is vector, and that is scalar quantities. Uh, scalar and vector quantity. Suppose it's my right and left. A scalar quantity is though is is that quantity are those quantities wh which can be described by the magnitude only means by just quantity suppose you say you go to a shop you say just give me one kg uh, sugar so the shopkeeper gives you one kg sugar in this case one kg two kg three kg five kg ten kg hundred kg they all are what magnitude right but on the other hand like vector quantities are those which require one additional uh, parameter besides magnitude means you, you, you if you want to describe that you, you should add direction as well means like for, I, I would like to give you an example there is a box in front of you and you want to exert a force on that box or it's a football kind of something so you exert force how much force do you exert on that object you exert five newton force on that object so five newton force 
10 newton force hardly newton force. what is this this is just the magnitude but if you just add one thing that i have exert 5 newton force in north or in the east so this will be now become a vector the force is now vector why because force has magnitude okay five magnitude and is definitely the unit okay so magnitude and then we have the direction so those quantities which can be described by magnitude and direction they are called vector quantities similarly our dipole moment itself is a vector quantity so you should be keep in mind this the dipole moment have a direction and magnitude magnitude is very clear everything has magnitude so now it has addition one thing more that's direction so how to write suppose you have a molecule hydrogen and fluoride hf this is the partially positive hydrogen you know very well the hydrogen get positive charge fluorine gets negative charge so if, when you write to when you want to write the dipole moment you, sh you should just draw a line draw a line from positive to negative and here you should give a an arrow head like this so this this indicates the the, the the direction so this is the perfect representation of the dipole moment you should draw a line from positive charge to the negative charge and then put a arrow it is correct otherwise if you just draw like this this is incorrect the rule should be that from positive to negative uh-huh okay now uh, here are some values in from the periodic table if you just see here from the in periodic table i just like to give you an example that if hydrogen is combined with hydrogen so this will give you zero dipole moment why because i, I have already told you this is a kind of a homonuclear molecule so just leave it and now we have in group chlorine and then below chlorine in the periodic table there are bromine a, a below bromine beneath the bromine there is iodine and, and so on if you start adding hydrogen with this chlorine hcl hbr hi and then you check the dipole moment you will find a surprising result uh, in first case when you combine h with chlorine you will get 1.03 d by okay fine 1.03 d by but when you combine hydrogen with bromine you get 0.78 the interesting thing is that it is 1.70 1.03 0.78 this this leads to a decrease in dipole moment I just want to tell you the why this become decreased. This is because bromine is least electronegativity, electronegative than chlorine. Chlorine was more electronegative, so more dipole moment. Bromine was less electronegativity, negative as compared to chlorine, so uh, dipole moment is kind of decreased. And then you have iodine, so iodine is below in position, so its electronegativity will further decrease and you will get less dipole moment. So this is an idea. You should know the dipole moment is related with electronegativity. The more electronegativity of the bonded atom, not of the bonded atoms, one atom should have a fixed electron like hydrogen. The other atom, if they have increased electronegativity, then you get more dipole moment and so on. And uh, finally, what dipole moment tell us? Dipole moment tell us two important informations. Number one, that is, if a molecule is ionic or if it is covalent both then what percent of ionic character is there and what percent of covalent character is, is there you can't say that there is one molecule uh, it is perfectly ionic or is one molecule covalent okay there are some molecules perfectly ionic and some are perfectly covalent but there are some molecules which are ionic as well as covalent i mean but if ionic and covalent both are inside one molecule, so you, you, we should need to know what percent of ionic character is there. I, I, I mean, either the molecule is 10% ionic or 40% ionic or 60% ionic. You just need to, to know by, by determining the, the dipole moment. So from the dipole moment, you can easily identify. For example, HF is an example that is proper calculation of HF contain both ionic character and covalent character. So when we saw that it contain around about 46% of ionic character is, is here and then some of the 54, 56% of covalent character is there. So dipole moment tell us that, okay, I will also explain this in my like, uh, coming videos, the how, but just I want to, to tell you, we should know that dipole moment tell us the, the the percentage of ionic character 
and second bond angle or geometry of the molecule a molecule's geometry is also very important so the dipole moment can also tell us the geometry suppose in the beginning early uh, ages uh, in previous times in the past uh, there was an idea that a water molecule has shape like this linear but later on with the help of dipole moment we came to know that no water does not have a shape like this it is bent so so, so dipole moment really tell us the bond angle or geometry of the molecule and the percentage of the ionic character so i hope you got this lecture this was dipole moment we gave you an idea dipole moment the how dipole moment is created usually in, in a molecule if here electronegative difference is there it should be heteroatomic molecule even there are even there are some molecules who are hetero um, who are heteroatomic but still there is zero dipole i will tell you in in upcoming lectures and then we saw the the, the formula of dipole moment is dipole moment is represented by mu a greek letter and uh, charge multiplied by distance then we got the unit and then we got the conversion two types of units metacoulomb and debye and then in the periods and then we also told you we discussed that uh, dipole moment is a vector quantity because it has magnitude as well as the direction i hope you got this lecture we'll see you we'll catch you in the next lecture inshallah soon this was another lecture that i have recorded in the usa until unless i'm here at the united states i'm just for a few more days more so i will be when i'll be back in pakistan we will continue this sequence inshallah so bye bye allah hafiz